In the mathematical field of graph theory, the Peterson graph is an undirected graph with 10 vertices and 15 edges. It is a small graph that serves as a useful example and counterexample for many problems in graph theory. The Peterson graph is named after Julius Peterson, who in 1898 constructed it to be the smallest bridgeless cubic graph with no three-edge coloring. Although the graph is generally credited to Peterson, it had in fact first appeared 12 years earlier, in a paper by A. B. Kemp. Kemp observed that its vertices can represent the ten lines of the Disargues configuration, and its edges represent pairs of lines that do not meet at one of the ten points of the configuration. Donald Nuth states that the Peterson graph is a remarkable configuration that serves as a counterexample to many optimistic predictions about what might be true for graphs in general. The Peterson graph also makes an appearance in tropical geometry. The cone over the Peterson graph is naturally identified with the moduli space of five-pointed rational tropical curves. Constructions The Peterson graph is the complement of the line graph of It is also the Nessa graph This means that it has one vertex for each two-element subset of a five-element set and two vertices are connected by an edge if and only if the corresponding two element subsets are disjoint from each other. As a Nessa graph of the form it is an example of an odd graph. Geometrically, the Peterson graph is the graph formed by the vertices and edges of the hemidodecahedron, that is, a dodecahedron with opposite points, lines and faces identified together. Embeddings the Peterson graph is non-planar. Any non-planar graph has as minus either the complete graph or the complete bipartite graph, but the Peterson graph has both as minors. The minor can be formed by contracting the edges of a perfect matching, for instance the five short edges in the first picture. The minor can be formed by deleting one vertex and contracting an edge incident to each neighbor of the deleted vertex. The most common and symmetric plane drawing of the Peterson graph as a pentagram within a pentagon has five crossings. However, this is not the best drawing for minimizing crossings. There exists another drawing with only two crossings. Thus, the Peterson graph has crossing number two. Each edge in this drawing is crossed at most once, so the Peterson graph is one planar. On a torus the Peterson graph can be drawn without edge crossings, it therefore has orientable genus 1. The Peterson graph can also be drawn in the plane in such a way that all the edges have equal length, that is, it is a unit distance graph. The simplest non-orientable surface on which the Peterson graph can be embedded without crossings is the projective plane. This is the embedding given by the hemidodecahedron construction of the Peterson graph. The projective plane embedding can also be formed from the standard pentagonal drawing of the Peterson graph by placing a cross cap within the five-point star at the center of the drawing and routing the star edges through this cross cap. The resulting drawing has six pentagonal faces. This construction forms a regular map and shows that the Peterson graph has non-orientable genus 1. Symmetries The Peterson graph is strongly regular. It is also symmetric, meaning that it is edge-transitive in vertex-transitive. More strongly, it is 3R-transitive. Every directed 3-edge path in the Peterson graph can be transformed into every other such path by a symmetry of the graph. It is one of only 13 cubic distance regular graphs. The automorphism group of the Peterson graph is the symmetric group. The action of on the Peterson graph follows from its construction as a Nessa graph. Every homomorphism of the Peterson graph to itself that doesn't identify adjacent vertices is an automorphism. As shown in the figures, the drawings of the Peterson graph may exhibit five-way or three-way symmetry. But it is not possible to draw the Peterson graph in the plane in such a way that the drawing exhibits the full symmetry group of the graph. Despite its high degree of symmetry, the Peterson graph is not a Cayley graph. It is the smallest vertex transitive graph that is not a Cayley graph. Hamiltonian paths in cycles The Peterson graph has a Hamiltonian path but no Hamiltonian cycle. 
It is the smallest bridgeless cubic graph with no Hamiltonian cycle. It is hypo-Hamiltonian, meaning that although it has no Hamiltonian cycle, deleting any vertex makes it Hamiltonian, and is the smallest hypo-Hamiltonian graph. As a finite connected vertex transitive graph that does not have a Hamiltonian cycle, the Peterson graph is a counterexample to a variant of the Lovers conjecture, but the canonical formulation of the conjecture asks for a Hamiltonian path and is verified by the Peterson graph. Only five connected vertex transitive graphs with no Hamiltonian cycles are known. The complete graph K2, the Peterson graph, the Coxeter graph and two graphs derived from the Peterson and Coxeter graphs by replacing each vertex with a triangle. If G is a two-connected, R regular graph with at most three R plus one vertices, then G is Hamiltonian or G is the Peterson graph. To see that the Peterson graph has no Hamiltonian cycle C, consider the edges in the cut disconnecting the inner 5 cycle from the outer one. If there is a Hamiltonian cycle, an even number of these edges must be chosen. If only two of them are chosen, their end vertices must be adjacent in the two 5 cycles, which is not possible. Hence four of them are chosen. Assume that the top edge of the cut is not chosen. The top two edges in the inner cycle must be chosen, but this completes a non-spanning cycle, which cannot be part of a Hamiltonian cycle. Alternatively, we can also describe the 10 vertex 3 regular graphs that do have a Hamiltonian cycle and show that none of them is the Peterson graph. By finding a cycle in each of them that is shorter than any cycle in the Peterson graph, any 10 vertex Hamiltonian 3 regular graph consists of a 10 vertex cycle C plus 5 chords. If any chord connects two vertices at distance 2 or 3 along C from each other, the graph has a 3 cycle or 4 cycle, and therefore cannot be the Peterson graph. If two chords connect opposite vertices of C to vertices at distance 4 along C, there is again a 4 cycle. The only remaining case is a Mobius ladder formed by connecting each pair of opposite vertices by a chord, which again has a 4 cycle. Since the Peterson graph has girth 5, it cannot be formed in this way and has no Hamiltonian cycle. Coloring The Peterson graph has chromatic number 3 meaning that its vertices can be colored with three colors, but not with two, such that no edge connects vertices of the same color. It has a list coloring with three colors, by Brooks' theorem for list colorings. The Peterson graph has chromatic index 4, coloring the edges requires four colors. A proof of this requires checking four cases to demonstrate that number three edge coloring exists. As a connected bridgeless cubic graph with chromatic index 4, the Peterson graph is a snark. It is the smallest possible snark, and was the only known snark from 1898 until 1946. The snark theorem, the result conjectured by W. T. Tutton announced in 2001 by Robertson, Sanders, Seymour, and Thomas, states that every snark has the Peterson graph as a minor. Additionally, the graph has fractional chromatic index 3, proving that the difference between the chromatic index and fractional chromatic index can be as large as 1. The long-standing Goldberg-Seymour conjecture proposes that this is the largest gap possible. The Thursday number of the Peterson graph is 5. The Peterson graph requires at least three colors in any coloring that breaks all of its symmetries, that is, its distinguishing number is 3. Except for the complete graphs, it is the only Nesser graph whose distinguishing number is not 2. Other properties The Peterson graph is three connected and hence three edge connected and bridgeless. See the glossary. Has independence number four and is three partite. See the glossary. Is cubic. Has domination number three and has a perfect matching and a two factor. Has six distinct perfect matchings is the smallest cubic graph of girth 5, has radius 2 and diameter 2. It is the largest cubic graph with diameter 2, 
has graph spectrum minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 3 has 2,000 spanning trees, the most of any 10 vertex cubic graph, has chromatic polynomial, has characteristic polynomial, making it an integral graph, a graph whose spectrum consists entirely of integers. Peterson coloring conjecture. According to Devers, Nesetrol, and Rasford, a cycle of a graph G is a set C so that every vertex of the graph C has even degree. If G, H are graphs, we define a map phi, E, greater than E to be cycle continuous if the pre-image of every cycle of H is a cycle of G. A fascinating conjecture of Jaeger asserts that every bridgeless graph has a cycle continuous mapping to the Peterson graph. Jaeger showed that if this conjecture is true, then so are the five-cycle double-cover conjecture and the berge fulkerson conjecture, related graphs. The generalized Peterson graph G is formed by connecting the vertices of a regular n-gon to the corresponding vertices of a star polygon with Schlafler symbol n, k. For instance, in this notation, the Peterson graph is G. It can be formed by connecting corresponding vertices of a pentagon and five-point star, and the edges in the star connect every second vertex. The generalized Peterson graphs also include the n prism G, the Dura graph G, the Mobius Cantor graph G, the Dodecahedron G, the Desargues graph G, and the Nauru graph G. The Peterson family consists of the seven graphs that can be formed from the Peterson graph by zero or more applications of delta Y or Y delta transforms. The complete graph K6 is also in the Peterson family. These graphs form the forbidden minors for linkerlessly embeddable graphs, graphs that can be embedded into three-dimensional space in such a way that no two cycles in the graph are linked. The clash graph contains many copies of the Peterson graph as induced subgraphs. For each vertex V of the clash graph, the ten non-neighbors of V induce a copy of the Peterson graph.